Welcome to Ask Mo TV. We are here today with Dr. Michael Wall, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services at Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco, PC. Our topic today is vitamins and other supplements. Can a person get all of the nutrition that they need from a balanced diet alone? Again, this is the million dollar question. Can a person get everything they need from a balanced diet? The answer is no. First of all, I'm not even sure what a balanced diet is. A diet should be based on one's needs, and that's based on genetics, lifestyle, health issues, medications, health goals. The list goes on and on and on. I wrote an article which was entitled Foods versus Vitamin Supplements, within which I reviewed a bunch of research in the medical literature that clearly shows that a person cannot get certain levels of nutrients in foods that would really and very dramatically reduce the risk of, of developing a certain uh, chronic degenerative diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and autoimmune disease. For example, if one were to want to uh, increase the vitamin C levels to levels that might help reduce the risk of, uh, let's say, heart disease, they would need to consume between two and 3,000 milligrams or two to three grams per day. Now, an orange contains between 30 and 60 milligrams, so one would have to consume a crate of oranges just to break even that day. So that's not practical, not to mention healthy, but nutritional supplements are basically concentrated forms of foods. There are synthetic nutritional supplements and there are natural ones, and that may be the topic of another interview, but the short answer is absolutely not. A person could not eat enough vitamin D, for example, to reduce their overall morbidity and mortality, no matter how much uh, sunlight they were exposed to or how much fish they ate. And then there are other special nutrients, such as coenzyme Q10, for example, which are important for heart health and energy production. We simply couldn't eat enough foods to get the therapeutic values, given our ridiculous levels of stress these days, malabsorption and health problems, uh, and, and our unique uh, daily needs for nutrition. What is a multivitamin, and who should be taking it? So I didn't hear that question. Sorry, what is a multivitamin, and who should be taking it? So a multivitamin, as the name implies, is a vitamin that contains dozens of different vitamins and minerals in the form of a, a capsule, or possibly a powder, or a tablet. Now, for years and years, the American Medical Association taught that added nutrients in the form of supplements were not to be done and probably caused health problems. But that all changed based on a bunch of studies several years ago, which all of a sudden declared quite the opposite. In fact, a recent study showed that the average man and woman would reduce their cancer risk by simply taking a multivitamin every day and their overall risk of dying of just about anything. Now, realize that a multivitamin contains lots of nutrients, but in my mind, that would be your baseline. And then depending on whatever health goals you have, you might need to take more nutrition on top of the multivitamin, even of things that are already in the multivitamin because our needs are so varied from person to person. So multivitamin is the baseline of everyone's nutritional intake, or at least it should be. What vitamins or other supplements should a pregnant take, and what are the benefits of these? Well, the answer to that question uh, in terms of what a pregnant woman uh, should take uh, must be answered very carefully. First of all, we always want to emphasize foods, whether we're talking about pregnancy or non-pregnancy, but a, a person who is pregnant should uh, take a, at least a multivitamin, and the OB would generally be the physician who would prescribe a general multivitamin. Quite honestly, though, I think the prescription levels of these uh, pregnancy uh, multivitamins are completely inadequate. There are too low in B vitamins and far too high in iron. But if a particular woman is pregnant and she also happens to be particularly iron anemic, then the amount of iron that she should take should be based on her blood work. And that may or may not match what a prenatal multivitamin might have. And then depending on the health history of that woman who is pregnant, she might need a multivitamin and extra calcium, for example, particularly if she had, let's say, a low bone mass prior to the pregnancy. But when it comes to pregnancy and multivitamins, there's always an emphasis on folic acid because folic acid deficiency is responsible for 80% or more of birth defects. But that multivitamin should be taken 
at least two to three months prior to pregnancy to have the greatest chances of reducing a birth defects. Is there such a thing as taking too many vitamins or supplements to the point that it has the detrimental effects on the person's health? A person could definitely take too much of a good thing. There's no doubt about it. The most common side effect of taking too many vitamins in general would be gastrointestinal symptoms, gas or bloating uh, or diarrhea, for example. But uh, the side effect of taking too much of certain nutrients could be very specific. For example, too much vitamin D could cause gastroesophageal reflux or heartburn or muscle spasms, which are reversed once you reduce the vitamin D. But vitamin uh, A, D, E, and K are known as fat-soluble vitamins, and they can produce what's known as vitamin-induced hepatitis or inflammation of the liver, which might cause nausea, might cause the eyes uh, and, and the skin to become uh, yellow, and any number of, of symptoms. So depending on the nutrient we're talking about, you definitely can have adverse symptoms. And to be quite honest with you, uh, many uh, nutrition, nutrition providers uh, do not pay careful enough attention to uh, vitamin side effects, but they can and they do happen, particularly if someone is taking certain medications. Certain drugs have synergistic or beneficial interactions, and then there are what are known as negative drug nutrient interactions and a trained healthcare provider needs to know these things. And when he or she recommends nutrients to a person taking them, needs to educate them about that so they know how to recognize the adverse symptoms when they occur. This has been Dr. Michael Wong.